History Month is in full effect, and with one week left into the 31st edition of the Pan-African Film and Arts Festival, we are prepared to showcase a plethora of black excellence. From short films to custom pieces of art, PAP is a place for people of the African diaspora to share their talents and gain insights on how to move further in their creative careers. I'm your host, J. Tasha St. Cyr, and this is PATH Now. Two weeks ago in the city of Memphis, Tyree Nichols was fatally beaten by five police officers at a traffic stop. Footage from this horrific incident has made its way through all of social media, causing uproars, protests in many cities, and much more. Since then, the Memphis Police Department has disbanded the unit of those officers. The presidential office, community leaders, and celebrities have been releasing statements regarding the death of Tyreek Nichols. Reverend Al Sharpton held a press conference to speak on this incident. We talk a lot about gang bangers in the street and what colors they wear. In Memphis, it looks like they wear the blue color right and right uniform. Yeah. When you can beat a man, chase him down and beat him some more, and then let him lay there wounded for over 20 minutes and think nothing would happen. On behalf of the Pan-African Film and Arts Festival, we take this moment to give our condolences to the family of Tyree Nichols. Art is something that cannot be uniform and is one-sided. It is made out of the heart and mind of different creatives. Here at PATH, we offer programs from our PATH Institute that allow artists and filmmakers to share their craft and learn how to make it even better. As we step foot into Black History Month, PATH is ready to award and highlight the new and upcoming talent who make an impact on our community. The Pan-African Film and Arts Festival will be awarding Jonathan Majors from Marvel's Ant-Man Quantumanium with the Candle Lee on February 9th during our opening night film, Chevalier, at the DGA Theater in Hollywood. <laughs> Congratulations to Jonathan Mayers. Head over to path.org and check out what we have in store and what we have lined up for this year's festival. Make sure you get your tickets and passes and subscribe to PATH Newsletter to stay up to date and receive more information. We can't wait to see you guys there. Let's head over to the theater with Sharice Ford for Film and Entertainment News. We are just days away from opening night at the 31st edition Pan-African Film and Arts Festival, which is being presented by Stalker Street Creative and Search Like Pictures, and will be held on February 9th from 5.30 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. at the Directors Guild of America in Los Angeles, California. And of course, I am super excited to watch our opening night film, Chevalier, which stars Carolyn Harrison Jr., Samara Weaving, and Minnie Driver. In addition to our opening night film, Chevalier, a few films screening in the festival that I'm looking forward to watching in opening week include Citizen Kwame. Citizen Kwame is a minimalist film about travel visas set entirely in one compound. Kwame is an African man who wants to travel outside of his compound, but he must first get a visa from a white gatekeeper who controls the movements in and out of the gate. Next up is Elephant a film about a woman who witnesses a murder of a young boy by a police officer and suffers from a prolonged mental breakdown that renders her incapable of leaving her apartment. Throughout generations, the black community is often the keeper of unacknowledged history and truths of racial violence. And this experimental visual meditation on the body, space, and mental health of witnessing oppression, assault, trauma, and loss the filmmaker explores how racism and oppression affect the individual and how the community of which that individual is part inadvertently covers up the wrongs to provide the pathway to live, survive, and even thrive. But at what cost? In the wake of Tyree Nichols, who was brutally murdered by five Memphis police officers, the film definitely speaks to our current experience. Also screening opening week is Karjita. A film set in the Dominican Republic about a girl named Sarah and her nanny, Yurisa, who have a relationship that transcends their class, race, and conditions. They are the closest thing to a mother and daughter. But an accident will test their intimate loyalty and the innocent illusion of never separating. These are just a few of the films that will be screening in this year's Pan-African Film and Arts Festival. But our physical guides are available now. So please make sure to stop by our Cinemark Theater located inside of the Baldwin Hills Crenshaw Plaza to pick up your copy today. 
Or if you can't make it in person, you can always visit our website to see the full list of films screening in the festival at path.org. Also, you can hit us up online on social media at Path Now to let us know which films you're looking forward to seeing at the festival. I'm Sharice Ford. This is Film and Entertainment News for Path Now. Back to you in the studio, Jay Tasha. Head over to path.org and check out what we have in store and what we have lined up for this year's festival. Make sure you get your tickets and passes and subscribe to Path Newsletter to stay up to date and receive more information. We can't wait to see you guys there.